In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add updated date stamps with your checkbox here in Google Sheets. So let's say you're a professor and you're waiting for your students to submit their projects. Now they've been submitting their projects in different dates or different times, and you want a record of those dates and times. So what you want to have is an updated date stamp for when you tick on these checkboxes right here as soon as your students submit their projects. So let's say this student just submitted theirs and maybe after a few seconds, this one submitted theirs and you will have the exact time as to when they submitted their projects. So how do we do this? The main function that we use for this is the if s function. The if s function lets you have multiple conditions within one formula. So what we're trying to do is to have the time and date posted right here as soon as the value of this checkbox right here becomes true or when the box is checked. As you see right here in our formula bar, it will tell you that if the checkbox is unchecked, it's false. If it's checked, then it's true. So again, what we want is to have the time and date recorded right here as soon as this checkbox is ticked off. Let's go ahead and do that. Start with the equal sign, type in if s. So we have our condition and then our value, our condition and our value. So our first condition would be if this cell right here is equal to false, then this cell will remain empty. But if this cell becomes true, then we want the function now, which will give us the current date and time. So if we do that and press enter, there you have it. Now that it's empty, it will still remain empty. But if it's ticked off, then it will tell us the date and the time. Now, if we try and drag this down to the rest of our data, if you click on it, you'll see that the same time will be recorded for every time you tick on the checkbox. It doesn't change. So we're going to fix that by just removing this part right here and we're going to change it into C2 if C2 is equal to an empty space then we can put in the now function and our last condition would be if that the value of this cell is true then we will return to this cell reference right here press enter so now if we try and tick this box right here, it will give us an error saying that there's a circular dependency detected. To resolve the iterative calculation, see file, then settings. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn on the iterative calculation. Let's go to file here in the menu bar, then select settings. To find our iterative calculation, we're going to go to calculation tab and turn it on right here. So just turn it on. There you have it and save setting. And there you have it. Now, if we try and tick this box right here, it will give us the date and the time and the day of the week. And if we try and let's say tick this one, it will give us a different time depending again on how much time has passed between the last one and the next one. So now we have an updated time. It's not the same thing as we had before. We now have the current time as to when we tick this checkbox right here. And there you have it. That's how to add updated date stamps with your checkbox here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.